welcome to the channel and now that the shop is finished it's time to set up the second laser machine that's going to go right there and as you can see it is brand new in the box I have a not peaked it is sealed we're gonna open this together quickly we're gonna go over what's inside and then we're gonna set it up so let's get started and this is called the McPow laser engraver uh, we'll get into it here in a second and we'll see what see what they include with it I am I am very excited to get this one going and get my laser shop going so let's open her up let's see what's in there now you want to hang around to the end because we're going to be uh, making something on this machine so check it out and this machine is very affordable guys very affordable so I will give you the details here in a little bit but let's get this thing open see what we got all right now that the shop is finished it is time to set up the brand new laser by McPow we will go into more details but first let's open this box up and see what's in there now this is a very affordable laser engraver very affordable so you're going to want to watch this and i think you're going to be surprised at what they provide with with it uh for for the value i mean it's great and at the end of this video we are going to make something with it so right now let's open this thing up and uh see what we got in here all right let me get you guys closer where you can see okay I have not opened this yet. It has been sitting in my house for a few weeks. So let's get it open. See what we got. Big thick box and it's got some weight to it. I'll tell you that. Okay. these over here now right off the bat it comes with an acrylic this is nice a cover look at that fan will go in there nice red color let's put this aside here's the front now you seen my other laser that the cheap tent that I bought for it this is way better way better this is some good thick stuff that's gonna be nice all right and this goes over the machine as you're, uh, you know, using it. Now let's put this aside. All right. I'll tell you what we need to do. Let's cut this flap off because it's going to give me fits, guys. Get on with you. All right, it is about the exact same size as the other one. Got your vent hose. Comes with a little screwdriver. Uh, USB cable. Looks like some materials to print on. Got all kinds of stuff. Another... Uh, flash drive it comes with an SD card looks like these are some legs another USB cord there is a oh I hope this vents the same size I hope it'll work I may have to get some adapters for my vent that I put in and some other parts I'm not gonna try to take all these out because as I'm putting it together I'm gonna need to know where these things are and uh, this is the print head, the laser head. That's what they look like. Uh, pretty thick manual. These, these things scare me, man. I hope most of this is in a foreign language. Oh, it's all in English? No. Good. Because you know when the whole book is in English, it's complicated. And it's not. Uh, power supply. Now here is the frame. We're going to get this out here in a moment. I'm going to just raise it up a little. 
just to show you. Boy, this is some good heavy-duty quality stuff. Yeah, well, let's get this thing set up. Let's get it out of the box, get it set up. Uh, this will be used, I think, to calibrate the camera. Now, I've only, I've only watched a few videos, so I don't know a whole lot about it. And vent hose. So this, unlike my other one, this one comes with just about everything you need to get going, including the uh, enclosure. So let's get it set up. All right, here's what it looks like. Just the frame right out of the box. I like the fact that it's black. Goes with the whole scheme of things here. And here's a feature my other one does not have. I love this. It has a tray. You can put your honeycomb in there. You can pull it out. Easy to clean it. And it will not uh, dirty up the bench. It's going to have an on-off key. You can lock this. And, uh, you know, no unauthorized people can use it. Um, it's, it's, it's a good size machine. I can probably scoot that over and probably still have enough room to put my power, uh, my portable power supply. So let's get this together. I just wanted to show you what the frame is. Let's get a measurement on this. Uh, I could look at the book, but I'm in a shop. I got a tape measure. And that all. So we're about, oh, 23 and a half wide. And about 24 and a half long. So it's, it's not huge. It's not going to take up a whole lot of space, which is good. But it has the same capacity as the other one, if not more. I think it has a bigger print area. Uh, so we will, we will see. Let's get her put together. And uh, I'll come back as I do the steps. I have taken out all the parts just to make it easier on myself. And spread them out on the table. There's the USB cable. There is the exhaust fan. Now this, I, I think I showed you that and said that was the laser head. This is the laser head. So I've got all the parts that came with the machine on this table. And I got to say, it's not very, it's not very intimidating. There's, you know, there's not that much. Uh, plus you've got the cover down there that I have, but I just wanted to get everything out of the box. Now, I'm not going to get into too much detail on how to assemble this. It looks easy enough, but we are going to be featuring this laser in many videos. So there'll be plenty of time to explain things to you. Right now, I just want to show you the setup uh, and we're going to do the first test on it. Comes with a pair of glasses. Oh, it's pretty cool. I might wear them down the road, man. Them's cool looking. Got a cloth, uh, power supplies. And this key, I'm going to put that in right now. So I'm going to get this thing assembled, and then we'll come back.
All right, that's all there is to the assembly. It was very, very simple. I was looking at that box for two weeks going, man, I, I don't look forward to assembling that. And it was very, very simple, very simple. Uh, as you can see, we got the covers on. Boy, this looks nice, too. Let's step back and look at it. Now, it does have legs. If I opt to put them on, put, put it on legs, which I may do, uh, I don't believe you have to. And I believe down here, since I didn't see a camera, I imagine the camera's built into the laser head. And what I did is I plugged in, there's an LED light in there, and the fan. I plugged those in. Now, I'm going to have to secure that wire. Uh, this is the air assist pump. Now, the only thing I, so far I don't like is that the exhaust fan is in the back. I wish I'd have known that. I might have modified this a little different, but I think I can get a reducer and make that work. I can move this machine down all the way to the end of the table. So that's not going to be a big problem. I barely have enough room, but it, it's going to be fine. So... This contraption here is four inch and this is probably two and a half, three. I'll get that part to work. So now from here on out, it's calibrating and adjusting. And I'm not going to include that in this video as you will be seeing this laser work in many of my videos. Uh, a lot of the videos on YouTube that I've watched on this make it look a lot more complicated than it really is. At least the assembly part. It was very simple. Uh, I appreciate that. Uh, they did a good job when they, um, you know, put the instruction manual together. Not that I, not that I read it, guys. I looked at the pictures, okay? Let's make that clear. I did not read instructions. I looked at the pictures. So we're going to get this thing calibrated, and the next thing you see is I'm going to be using this thing. So let's get going. Okay, the first thing we're going to do before we do any printing is we're going to do a material test. And what that's going to tell us is what will be the best speed and the best power to get a nice clear image from the material we're using. And I'm using just pieces of my flooring, my vinyl plank flooring. Uh, this should make a really nice uh, material to engrave on. So we're going to do the material test now. Let me shut the cover or it won't work. And I've already got my laser head set, so I'm going to hit start. First we'll hit frame. You can see that the laser is framing on an area, okay. And now I'm simply going to hit start in the light burn. And it's going to begin making the material test. Take a look and see what we got. Now this is the vinyl plank flooring. You can tell the different depths and of engraving that it did. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, when I go to print a picture on here, I'm going to look and see which one has the most clear, which one looks the best. This tells me the power setting. I know it's kind of hard to read on this material. And this is the speed, so when I go to set up whatever I'm going to print, I will look at that speed. Okay, this one looks good, and then here's the power, so I'll know it'll come out with a good, clear image. Now, I've never printed on this stuff before. Heck, I ain't hardly printed on anything. But we're going to try to do an image and see how it comes out. And that's what you got to do, print off. Now I think I can take a little acetone and wipe this off and get some of this stuff off here. But we'll see how it comes out, man. That's what that looks like. So if you've seen my sign that's been hanging around my cabin for a while, uh, you know I like it. Because I'm your huckleberry. And I went on the internet and I found something similar. And I saved the image. This is a JPEG image. I saved it and then I uploaded it into my Lightburn program 
and I put the image in here and then I went up here under laser uh, tools and then I clicked trace and that made a traced image of that photograph and then I set my width and my height for it and now I'm going to send it to the laser and we're going to print this out on a piece of vinyl so it ought to be pretty cool I'm hoping and keep in mind guys I don't have much experience on this light burn so I'm just watching a lot of videos you know there's a lot to it but it, in actuality it's pretty simple once you get to know it uh, I get pretty good at programs once I do them for a while nice thing about this as you can see this is uh, my MechPal laser I have here but you can also open another window you can have two up to you can have multiple windows open and there's the Falcon that's running and you just minimize them you pull back up the McPow and there you have it you can run two jobs simultaneously on multiple machines and that's what I'm doing now but this is about to make power and this is what we're making on it and it should be done in a while Alright, it's all done. I am excited to see this. So let's check it out. Oh wow. Wow, look at that. Now, that looks good. I'm your Huckleberry. Now printing on this vinyl I can see where I probably could have turned my settings down a little bit here. I like that though. That kind of gives it a cool. But I don't know what I'm doing yet. But I'd say for the first time using this. That's pretty good. And I just found an image on the internet. I traced it. Put it in the light burn. Told the machine to print it. And there it is. I could sell stuff like that. I mean I can make. I mean I bought that one over there. That looks good. I'm your Huckleberry. Pre-order now. So we know it works on this vinyl. Just need to tone down on the... This actually made about three or four passes. I don't know what I'm doing yet on the light burn. But I've been watching videos. Once I learn the light burn a lot better, we can, we can fine-tune this. But that's, that's, that's ready to hang up right there. I'm going to get my grinder and... Now, I have not cut this stuff, and I don't think I'm ever going to cut vinyl. It probably would. I'm just not going to do it, uh, because then that would, you know, this is more or less a rubber back here. But this is just parts of my floor that were left over. Now, if you were going to lay a floor, you could actually take a few pieces in your floor and put a design if you wanted to and that'd be cool you could maybe put an image in the middle of your floor make a mosaic I don't know you can do all kinds of things man but you have the ability 
with the McPowell X4 Pro to do things like that. And that is pretty nice if you ask me. All right, we're going to do one final image. It only takes a minute or two. I've got a scrap piece of wood in there. And on this one, let me show you what we are printing. We are printing Alvin there. I don't know why he's separated. Anyway, we're printing Alvin from the Chipmunks. Let's turn on the camera. This has its own camera. You can see it there. Alright, let's get that out of the way. Let me click start. Man, it should start printing. I don't have it set very dark. But this one is a fast file. Now look at this. You can you can watch the camera from your PC. Pretty cool. This is the progress bar, it tells you we're 30% done. So this is a, under a two minute file, because we're just doing the outline of it. I ain't figured out how to cut things yet, but it will. Well, I have accidentally. <laughs> but you're going to see a lot of this laser in the future. So I don't think they're going to mind that I didn't show you how to cut, because we're going to be cutting a lot of stuff. Go up here. Oh yeah, there's Alvin. He's 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 coming out. It's a very easy program. It's just you know, like anything new, you got to learn it. Alvin is taking shape, and look here, guys. It's a keeper. I really love this color, uh, cover. It's got the LED light in there. The camera is right there, right over your work area. And it's done. And there's Alvin. All right. I am having so much fun with the, this machine. I mean, it's, it's something else. All right. I will leave the link and a dis, uh, discount code in the description. You're not going to believe the price on this, guys. I'll just let you look for yourself. I don't remember what it was, but it's way under a thousand dollars. And this is a very, very nice quality machine. The MechPal X4 Pro 22 watt laser engraver. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.